Daniel and I met at an art supply store. He was working as a cashier there, and I would go in and just loiter and buy you know, single pencils just to find a reason to talk to him. One day I decided to be courageous, and I walked in there and just asked him out. We've been together for about half a year so now. Tappanzee Bridge, that I went to school like right there, on the, end of, the other end of the Tappanzee. The night of the accident was terrifying. I pulled up and at first I didn't know it was him. I thought someone had just thrown their bike on the side and then left a pile of clothes beside it. Um, when I realized it was Daniel crumpled on the ground, I immediately ran to him, tried to prop him up against the tree, and he was in so much pain that he was crying at that point. I had never seen him in that much pain before. I haven't seen anybody in that much pain before. It was an odd time for him to be calling, so I was alarmed to get that. And this weak voice told me that uh, he had was in the emergency room, that he had fractured these vertebrae. So I drove the five hours um, down here and found him in so much pain. And of course, any mom in the world who uh, sees their child, if it's at age two or 12 or 22, um, that's such a hard thing to watch. When I had initially started school at Purchase, I was accepted into the photography program there. I had been shooting black and white film, you know, all through middle school and high school and even made my own darkroom in my basement when I was a freshman in high school. In May 2010, about two years ago, I had graduated from the School of Art and Design at SUNY Purchase in New York. Uh, while I was there, I had studied photography and sculpture. Daniel is an incredibly talented artist. It's one of the first things that attracted me to him. He puts all of his passion and energy and attention into projects that he feels deep connection to, including this mixtape he made for me. He created the cover out of vintage postcards, cut up, reassembled, reimagined, really. It had been a bit hard finding work right off the bat, uh, coming straight out of school. And what didn't really help was relocating shortly thereafter. Uh, I moved to, here to Pittsburgh about seven months ago in the fall of, of 2011. And since then actually have been working at, at a little local art supply shop and have been really liking it. I'm able to commute by bike, which I've done all through college and, and everywhere I've lived since. It's been about six years that I've been commuting by bike. He shattered his spine and we went to my bed where I put ice and a hot bag of rice on his back. And we didn't choose to go to an ambulance or a hospital immediately because it was the debt we were thinking about. It was the cost he was thinking about. And that's a society we live in. It's not what's best for our bodies. It's what can we afford under this broken system. Luckily, he realized he was covered under the Affordable Care Act. And we rushed him to the hospital that morning. The Affordable Care Act made it possible for um, Daniel to be on the family plan with my insurance for a longer period of time. I actually just earlier got to talk to a family friend who's a doctor about what all of this would cost if, if I were uninsured. And he had told me that between the visits and the scans and the prescriptions, I would be looking at all of that put together a bill well in excess of $10,000. Just before my accident, I had started working with an organization here in Pittsburgh called Healthy Artists. It's a group of individuals who either, you know, one-on-one -on -one or as a small team, goes out and shoots videos of artists who talk about their life and their work and specifically their, their thoughts and feelings on the, the need for healthcare reform. This is the upstairs of Spectre Studios. We've got the sewing department and her storage on the left. I made too much money to be covered by the state programs but I didn't make enough money to afford the good health care, so I was at this funny in-between. And every time I've tried to pursue health care, it's either just out, outside of my means. I can't dependably pay for it because I'm generally working paycheck to, to paycheck. But also, um, I find it very confusing. And I, I, have a I just can't even think of a reason why we wouldn't have health care available for everybody. I mean, we're a smart, wealthy country that definitely should be able to um, I have Crohn's disease. I am currently uninsured. Um, 
Right now, I keep the Crohn's disease under control with my diet. And I've been working in this part-time nonprofit job for a decade, and um, I've never had health care through that job. And, no, I, have, you know, I have people, I have friends that do like, like music that haven't been to a doctor in like 20 years because they can't afford it. And in their daily life, it's, it's like, oh, should I pay my rent or should I go like have my foot looked at? You know? I think having one less thing to worry about, health care, and that's a big worry, especially as you get older. Uh, and especially for my friends who get married and start having children. Not having health care is a real issue. It's so a crucial time because they're actually planning on um, debating the constitutionality of the Affordable Care Act in June. They're threatening Medicaid. So The largest uninsured group in America is comprised of 19 to 29 year olds like Daniel and myself. Under the Affordable Care Act, we can be covered until we're 26, giving us time to find our footing, to find our careers. The Affordable Care Act also creates insurance exchanges, which lower health care costs for everybody. Under this act, we can be assured access to health care and also affordable health care. Hey, grub. Hey, rump steak. We are so close to realizing a health care system here in America that is both humane and affordable for every American. So stand up and speak out. Let it be known that you, your families, and your communities truly deserve the best in healthcare. Hey guys. Yo, this looks awesome. Yeah, so I've been in my entire life. I've always heard for the garlic bread. So she said.